Visit TrueNatureCenter.com to find more information and support materials on how you can awaken to the ultimate freedom inside. We also look forward to connecting with you on our social media network. And we are made in the Divine One's image. We are that one. That is who we are. And this one is seeking, not seeking in the sense that you understand seeking to be, but it is seeking to enter into its own play via you, via the mind body that you find yourself flowing through with its fullness. And it will do so simply because that is the drive of existence. Not just parts of existence, but all of existence. Every scarab, every atom, every molecule, every space. So for all of those people that speak it, it's just chaotic or it's quite, quite false. It's just a lack of understanding. Life does have a purpose, but not a purpose according to your ideas. The purpose is of the Divine One, which gives life to it all. And you have no idea the planes of the Divine One. You're hearing voices in your mind. You're hearing clear audiently noise from other beings. You may call that God speaking to you, but that God is rather pathetic up against the Divine One. Your idea of hearing the Divine One directly is absolute garbage. The Divine One is much greater than any of your imagination, than any of your clairaudiences, than any noises that you may hear. And it will have its way. It's in the very molecular structure of existence. And it is always about becoming richer from within manifestation. The Divine One already is full as it is prior to any manifestation arising. But that which came out of it, which carried the seeds of good and bad, the duality in other words, the whole variation of the play of duality, which is huge, that's complex, that's very, very vast. So, in terms of time, manifestation has been going on for an enormously long time. And there have been many times where it looked like the Divine One was going to finally enter, only not to occur. Because from within its own creation, which was already accounted for, were the forces of negativity and, and destructiveness and outright evilness that created mischief. And that's well before matter came into existence, before physicality came into existence. It's a huge, huge affair. And it enters, the Divine One enters, one step at a time, in the same manner that manifestation came about, one step at a time. It began with whatever it began with, and then grew and grew and grew. It didn't, it didn't just leap. It had to follow the laws of what it was growing within, what it was growing from, and away from. So the the whole drive of manifestation is away from the purity of the Divine One. And that's natural. That was, that's innate in its own design. So it's not a bad thing. Sure, there's been battles of, in the heavens between good and bad, but that's perfect. That enables scope, that enables variation, this enables the qualities of both to mix together, which it's done quite well with the human family. There are other 
physicalities elsewhere in other universes which abide by other rules. And all of this is just simply part of the variation of the magnificence of that which began it all. Search for True Nature Center on our social media network.